What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So we are back with our Manchester United premium squad breakdown. I don't know why I'm talking so slow. But anyway, we are back with our Manchester United squad review or squad breakdown or squad discussion where we look at all the squads that are here available and we give you as much information as we can we give you a couple of alternatives to the players in case you don't want to buy these packs and we just have a bit of a discussion about it so again we are going to be heading in to eFootballDB.com and uh, you know comparing some players and showing you a couple of different uh, GP options as well that compare well with the legend cards but yeah for this Manchester United one we are going to be playing with a quick counter team play style proficiency of 80 which look quick counter is a very very overpowered team play style especially if you were new to the game or if you were used to playing fifa with a lot of quick kind of you know passing or you know pez 2021 you're you're used to that quick triangles quick passing your players being in those little pockets of space to create those overlaps and triangles centrally through the pitch so these legend players are these players are going to feature again one legend in marcus rashford and then you're going to have cristiano ronaldo bruno shaw varan De Gea, Sancho, Pogba, even though he's gone now, Fred, Harry Maguire, and Juan Basaka, as well as your 60,000 XP training programs as well. So, yeah, is, is it bang for your buck? I mean, when you look at Rashford being the legend, let's head on over to eFootballDB.com and we will check things out. So, over here on eFootballDB.com, lads, we're going to be able to simulate exactly how we would train up this Rashford. Now, this, this legend edition of Rashford is actually quite decent, to be fair. Obviously, he's got the B form, so he's obviously going to be, you know, have a, a, a better chance of being you know a, a better player form arrow on match day which does make a big difference to the to the player's stats obviously if it's fully up or um whatever but yeah i mean he's got 15 levels to go that when we actually do do the training on this guy here on rashford he's got a very nice base set of stats now what i mean by that is his speed and acceleration don't really need to be touched we can just put that up to a 90 um and i'd be pretty happy enough with his speed there um i'd probably put one on quick counter to bring it up to 90 overall um but having 88 speed and 90 acceleration is if you haven't seen my speed uh video where i did it that is sterling stats basically in the game uh so i mean he's as fast as you could possibly want him obviously you could go higher you could go 90 and 90 but we try boost up the rest of his finishing because i would probably be playing rashford as you know your kind of dribbler there is better options on him as outright dribblers but cutting in for shooting and stuff i think that if you do kind of have them stats kind of like upgraded a little bit he's not going to be like your out and out uh winger it's kind of like in real life even though i am a manchester united fan it's hard to know what rashford's best position is whether it's cutting in whether it's leading the line whether it's being you know an ss type player that kind of like um kind of floats around the place but yeah i mean his stats are hard to kind of um to kind of figure out because obviously he's not going to be getting up into finishing he's only got 75 in finishing even when we boost that up by five or even six uh points it's only going to go to that so i think it's just more about kind of like um improving what his actual uh improving what his actual strengths are to bring it up to a 92 overall still a fairly decent card but again there are wingers on the team on the on the you know the marketplace that will just absolutely destroy him stat for stat now obviously he does have the b form and he is a legend um but if we even go over to his regular card here and we train this up this can go to 34 levels so if we bring this up straight away just to you know to balance it up to 90 and we bring this up to 89 or say 90 and 90 we still have 42 points we can put his quick counter onto four i think we'll do there um or even three will do because he obviously is able to play with quick counter as well and then obviously his finishing is 65 but as we are kind of trying to link him up with this legend card we don't really need to focus too much on his shooting or anything like that we can just focus on you know his passing and his dribbling so if we pump this into dribbling quite a bit and bring him up to a level 90 uh fairly easily we can do a couple of aerial strength on him as well just to have that balance um and the physical contact up if you want and then obviously we can pump in a bit into his shooting but mostly it's going to be his dribbling his speed obviously we 
we can have him a little bit quicker there uh, than normal or we can take one away from that and put it in there and put two into shooting or even put another into passing um, and bring him up to a 90 overall so again very kind of similar stats obviously this one has got slightly better dribbling but we can actually change that if we do take away one of the speed here we can put in another into the dribbling to bring this up to be pretty much identical to that so 85 ball control um and obviously we'll have the same 90 speed uh which is a little bit quicker there and he's only seventy thousand on the market but even at that lads as i said a lot of you guys were were asking about kind of like how they compare to other players right i'll give you an example of a gp bargain busting deal here with uh, Daku who plays for Rennes in League One right he's 17,000 GP right so look at the stats that this guy can actually pump up right I'm going to pump him up exactly as I have trained him up in my second uh, account I think I think it's 10 10 10 um, and then yeah I'll do this first so obviously we can put him up to that and uh, go up there there and then obviously we're not going to need finishing we do need passing a little bit and obviously we can put him as quick counter uh, we can put him to three on that and then we still got a couple of stats left right so we don't need to do the rest of the stats that much but I think it's yeah we don't even need that I would say it's more dribbling pace um, and just kind of rinse and repeat as however however we can put them up so this guy is an 87 overall winger but look at his stats like when you compare him right so he's 91 speed 92 acceleration 82 ball control 86 dribbling 84 tight possession 86 balance 91 quick counter obviously he's on b form um but yeah i mean his stats compared to the legend edition of rashford here compared to that like 85 83 81 82 86 84 so they're slightly different obviously uh rashford is going to have better you know overall card and that but Doku is still going to have 91 speed 91 acceleration and even if we take this away right if we take that away and we take that away and we pump that into that and then we pump up his passing like we're going to have an absolute beast dribbler who's like 87 overall with still the same speed so there is options out there lads if you are wondering definitely some cards don't have kind of like I don't know, like good comparisons, um, but this guy definitely does. So moving on to Cristiano Ronaldo, he's probably the pick of all the players here. I mean, lads, look, effectively what you're buying here, or what you're getting in these power packs is players that are fully maxed out and fully trained without you having to train them. That's basically what it is without you having to grind. You know, Ronaldo's like basic card has got 19 levels. So without you having to grind 19 levels and train him up 19 levels, you have this guy pretty much the stats put in where you should be putting the stats in anyway. And for Ronaldo here, he's really caught because obviously we can give one to quick counter, but we only have seven progression points in this and we do need to top up that speed a little bit. The rest of his stats are quite decent because we are going to be playing Ronaldo as an outright uh, striker. But I mean, for that, there is probably players better than him there for 80 speed, 79 acceleration and 86 finishing. Now he does have exceptional kick and power and jump even at that as well. But again, we go into his regular card here, right? And we're going to try and boost up this a little bit more. We give him quick counter three, which or four, which brings him up to 96. And then it's all about his shooting, which is at a very high level as it is. It's all about the shooting and it's all about the speed. So we can actually bring up his speed quite decently here. Um, we don't really need to work on anything else. We can bring that up to 80 and 80. He's 94 overall. He's 94 overall here with his card. And again, when you look at the stats and you break it down, 80 and 80 here, 80 and 79 here. And then we look at the offensive awareness his regular card is actually quite better. So 90 and 88 compared to 88 and 86. And then obviously the header is 82. It's 79 here. So that's where the stats kind of, it's just a different type of card. Um, but you can train them enough to put your own stamp on them, as I said. I mean, you can do whatever you want. But again, you've got the jump is a little bit less here. And the kicking power is the same. Ball control and stuff like that is uh, slightly worse and slightly better on this card. But again, like Ronaldo is only 500,000 GP which yeah it is a lot of gp but if you are logging in and you're winning a couple of events and stuff and have been playing it regularly you should be able to afford him no problem so moving on to the last player that we're going to highlight here is Varane. so obviously Varane is probably the pick of the center backs and he is in fairness Varane is kind of a strange player right because even his standard edition which is 82 overall that goes to 21 levels he's only 180,000, right but there is better options on 
uh, the GP marketplace than him, I would reckon. But he is very, very good. Anytime I've come up against him, he seems to be extremely hard to stop. And I think that's due to his speed. So this actual premium club card is, is a fantastic card. Because as you said here, his speed is 82 and his acceleration 73. His regular card is 75 and 69. That's a big, big jump to come up. Because you're going to have to come up like 7 on the speed and... Um, what four four on the acceleration so i mean if you're just boosting that up that's going to take the majority of your points there because you'll need to go so high up on it especially when the fact that you need to put three or four into quick counter as well as a possession play style so yeah this card is probably the pick of them right but again when we actually go in here and we boost him up to six levels and we give him his quick counter up to that to go to 99 or else we just want it at 90 whichever you guys prefer when, when we actually do boost up his pace to like that, and then we throw one into this, we throw three into that, we throw another one into that, maybe one into that, we have got him as a 92 rated player that looks quite decent. And obviously he's got all the stats that you could want from a center back. He's got the jumping stat at 89. He's got defensive awareness, engagement, tackling is quite good. He's got speed 83. But again, as I said to you lads about, um, you know, like varying variations and, uh, variants and stuff that you can actually put in um you know to kind of vary up your game and obviously have alternative players we check out Klosterman here who's a similar height similar build similar style player from the base so his standard card is 81 speed 78 acceleration so straight away we're going to be able to compete right here for speed with rain right so 83 and 75 81 and 78 so he's already kind of beaten him here now he can go 29 levels which gives us 56 points we give his play style which is quick counter we can give that three brings it up to 91 and then obviously we are just going to focus on speed as our main object here to get him up as fast as he can possibly go as a striker and then we're going to be able to continue to uh, boost up his stats as we see fit depending on how much of a uh, you know defensive player we want him to be now he can obviously play right back as well but i would definitely recommend playing him back uh, as a center back because he's an absolute unit he goes to 90 90 overall we don't really need pass and shooting or dribbling he's obviously all right with that his tight possession is quite poor for a cb but the rest of his stats are very 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 good so when we actually look at this and we think about um how we're going to like up upgrade his stats or whatever as a 90 rated player you're looking at him here compared to Vrain who is a 92 overall, and the speed is far improved. Obviously, we don't even need to go that uh, much on speed. Header is better as well. And then we go into like jump and physical contact. So obviously, Varane is one of the best players in the air, but defensive awareness, defensive engagement, and tackling is probably the biggest strength of Varane here compared to this card. But this is just a very quick example of getting a player for GP um, that you you know that, that can compete and be a very similar experience. Obviously, Varane is still going to be Varane, and he's going to have have uh certain animations and stuff um but yeah there is definitely options there so yeah that's that is pretty much it from me here as we look at manchester united let me know if you guys have actually got these or if you're gonna you know pass or skip uh or skip or miss or no i don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say. If you're going to actually pack, pack or mid, pack or skip, that's what I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, I mean, there is a lot of alternatives there that you can do for a GP as I tried to show throughout this series. But yeah, let me know in the comments below, lads. Appreciate you guys checking these videos out. And uh, for any newcomers coming, I hope you guys, uh, this is helping you out a little bit as well to show you kind of different ways of playing and, uh, you know, going the, the pack route or else if you're thinking about going the free to play GP route, uh, let me know. So yeah, I'll be back quite soon with another one and we will talk to you guys then. Peace. Any feedback, let me know in the comments below as usual. Good luck.